Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie. I make videos about living in Copenhagen. I also talk about sustainability. And a big thing I talk about here is charity sh shop shopping, thrifting, etc. Which in Copenhagen, there are so many different experiences that you can have. Um, I'll put a link up above to the video I made about uh, charity shops in Nurebro and I have a new video coming up which I'm going to be making this week updating that with some new places that you can check out to get some really good secondhand finds. So let's get into showing you what I've got. I'm going to go through um, by the shops that I bought them in and I will say that only one of these items here cost me more than a hundred crowns and I'll just pop up on the screen what that is in pounds and dollars and euros um, so I kind of set myself a limit unless it's something very special um, like it's a very special make or brand or something that I really really like I tend to just stick to a hundred crowns as being my kind of top level for how much I spend on um, something that I buy from a thrift or second hand shop. So first of all, um, disclaimer here, I actually volunteer in the Red Cross shop in Vesterbro in Istigal. So do come down and say hello to me if you're in the area, I'm there on a Friday. And I picked up quite a few things from there. So that, they're the first ones I'm gonna show you. So let's show you those ones, they're right here. So I needed some new jeans. Um, I got these two pairs of jeans. They're from Esprit. Um, they don't really look like they've been worn too much. They're two different sort of shades of blue um, and they fitted me fine. They're a little bit long in the leg, but that's not the end of the world. Um, I got each pair of those was, I think, 99 crowns. So 200 for the two pairs of blue jeans that I got there. And also um, in, oops, just dropped some things on the floor. Also in there, I got this Zara jumper. Um, it's quite thick for the summer, but it's okay to throw over something in the spring and I love bright colors So that one was perfect and I also bought just a plain t-shirt now This is from Vera Moda and they are actually currently selling these at the moment in Vera Moda because I've seen them um, And I got that as well. So they were from the charity shop that I work in I got some shoes from there as well, but I'm gonna do shoes at the end so they were from the Red Cross charity shop now I went over to Sweden uh, for the day to Malmo during the Easter holidays and went to an enormous uh, shop. I'll put a little bit of video in here for that called MIUS. It was literally, I wish I'd been filming when I walked in the door because I kind of went, oh wow, as soon as I walked in. It was amazing and the way it was laid out and the selection they had there was really good. So I'm just going to grab those bits and show you what I got from there. Now I'm a big fan of patterns and colours and if you look at the, the kind of the fast fashion shops at the moment, it's all pretty dull colours. So I got this red and black pattern skirt. It's quite wide and poofy and uh, it's sort of my style that I like. And I think it's a vintage brand. Um, it's called Carmel. So I think that one was a vintage skirt. Really happy with that for the summer. That looked nice with a white or a black t-shirt. I also got this vintage dress. Um, if I put it up to, you can see the, is it, yeah, there you go. You can see the pattern there. Now I will admit this is slightly too small for me at the moment, but I had to have it because I just love the pattern. It reminded me of sort of, you know, like Hawaii, Elvis Presley films, it was very retro and I loved it. So I thought I would get that and I knew I would regret it if I didn't buy that one. Um, I also bought, now this is from Monkey, but from that MIU shop, just a kind of candy stripe skirt. Again, nice for the summer with a plain t-shirt. Um, there were so many things in there, but as you probably know, if you go thrift store shopping, um, you know, you go in there and you try things on, you love them, but they're just not quite the right size sometimes. So there were a lot of things I liked in that shop, but I couldn't get them because they didn't really fit. So that was from Malmo. Um, I'll put all the links to the place I'm talking about down below. Next up is um, a shop that I've talked about before. It's in Copenhagen called Lidkoop. Um, it's a shop where people can sell their own clothes. Um, they, you can um, book a rack in there and you sell your clothes and they take a cut of a uh, percentage of the money and you make the rest and you also rent that shelf. I often go in there and if I have the patience, I go through all the racks and you can find some really, really great stuff. So I'll show you what I got from there. This is probably the biggest haul, if you like, but I did. I got these over um, maybe about five or six different trips to there. So first of all is this white sort of sleeveless vest from H&M. Um, 
I, I don't know why, but I just love little tiny bird patterns. So I think you can see here, they're all little navy blue birds. So I was very, very happy with that. I also got this blouse, which I have worn to death since I bought it. Um, it's by a Danish brand called Lolly's Laundry. And if you know Lolly's Laundry, you'll know that they are quite an expensive brand, but really beautiful colors, really lovely clothes, very well made. That, as I say, everything I've shown you so far has been under a hundred crowns. So I had that blouse, let's bring it up so you can see it. Let's get it focused. Really, really beautiful. I really, really love that and wear that a lot. This other one was so quirky, I had to have it. It's from White Stuff, um, it's a UK brand, it's White Stuff. And again, if I bring it close, you can see, the bicycles, they're really like, they're kind of Danish Dutch style bicycles and I really, really love this. And I've worn this quite a few times as well. Now I will make a note here, say to you, about dress sizes. Now all of these clothes here vary from the size on the labels of extra small up to large and they all fit me. So this is really an example of when you're going through clothes in thrift stores, don't discount something because of the sizing on it. Look at, the, look at what it looks like and how it fits. So that one I love, I've worn that quite a few times. And next I got these pattern skirts from there. I got three of them and I've always loved patterns. I've got quite a sort of hippie tendency in me, so I like, I like that sort of patterns. So this one's got a different pattern along the bottom, a little bit of a flare there. I don't think it says who it's, who it's by, who it's made by, but I really loved that one. I got this one, which is Moss Copenhagen, another patterned little flowery patterned skirt, perfect for the summer. And lastly, this one here, which is Pieces. That's a, a bestseller brand, a fast fashion brand here, but you know, second hand, keep them in the uh, in the wearing cycle. So I really, really love that one as well. Again, that's little flower pattern. So they're gonna really sort me out for the summer, those skirts. And also in there, which I, again, I'm wearing to death, I'm gonna put it on to show you. Um, I got this leopard print trench, um, which is lovely for the spring and it's a bit bright and it's a little bit different. Um, that one actually, was marked up, I think, at 160 krona, but it was on a rack that had 50% um, off. So I was happy to pay the little bit extra for that one. Look at the inside. Um, I was happy to pay a little bit of extra for that one, but as it turned out, I didn't need to. And funnily enough, I've been wearing it for weeks, and I've only just discovered it's got a little secret pocket in there, so I can keep uh, all my secret, secret things in there. So that one was great. Got a few more things over here. Next up, on Saturday and Sunday this week, uh, there was a just a local kind of flea market, I guess it kind of style of a garage sale in, in the US where um, some people who lived in uh, a house had got together with friends and they had a small flea market outside. So from there, I got um, this little Zara jumper. It's sort of a light, good, you can't really see. It's a good light jumper for, for the spring. It's got some little ruffles there, little shoulder pads. I'm not 100% sure about the shoulder pads, but when I've worn it, if I don't like those, I can always snip them off. So I got that, that was 20 crowns from that lady there. And um, also at the moment, it's, it, I've seen that trench coats, like proper trench coats, you know, a lot of people are wearing them. And one of the ladies there had this, it was 40 crowns. I'm not sure how keen I am on it, um, whether it makes me look like a bin man. I'm not entirely sure. I don't, I don't really know. Um, it didn't have the belt. Um, they took my number just in case, because the lady that I bought it from wasn't there on the second day, in case she's got the belt at home. But I wouldn't belt it anyway. I really quite like this. Um, if I don't, if I decide I'm not going to wear it, I'll take it into the charity shop where I work and, and just stick it in for donation there, because I'm sure somebody will want that. But I'm going to give that one a go. And then also on Sunday, there was an amazing flea market, which was a kind of collab between Magazine, the big department store here, Trina Kaya, who is a fashion influencer, who I actually saw in the toilet of Magazine after I'd been to this flea market. And it was, you know, people had booked the stands and the proceeds of the booking of the stands and the sale of drinks at the event went to the Red Cross. So for me, it was, you know, very on brand. I'm, I'm a supporter of the Red Cross, so I went along to that. And there were some great vintage things and also some great prices, but a lot of discrepancy between the prices that people uh, were charging. Now, I bought two items from the same lady. The first item was another Zara jumper. Um, 
I love just I just love bright colors um, this is again quite thick and chunky like the others are a jumper but it's short sleeved so again on a sort of cooler spring or autumn day that one would be perfect and I really loved it and I don't think she's worn it it's still got part of its price tag in but not the full price tag so I don't think that's been worn and then the other item I bought from her is this tank top which I actually wore yesterday um, by a brand called and I have no idea how to pronounce it, but there you go, you can see, let's see, get it focus. come on focus, there you go, that brand. Yeah, she told me it was cashmere, but it's actually llama wool. It was brand new, still had the tag in it. She charged me 50 crowns for each of those items, so 100 crowns for the two. And I looked this up when I got home, it's currently not um, on their website, but their um, woolens like this uh, retail from around 800, 900 crowns up to over a thousand crowns. And I showed it to a woman yesterday in one of the thrift stores I went to in Nurebro, and she said, Wow, you did so well with that one. What a, what a great bargain! And I love it, it's really nice, it's so soft. Um, normally, I, I have a struggle with natural walls, but I think llama wool is fine for me. So, they were two bargains that I got at that flea market. And yesterday I went over to Nurebro with my friend and she'd wanted to get into checking out some of the, the second hand or the, the charity shops in Nurebro and because I'm a bit of a, a sort of charity, charity shop spurt, I took her over there. We had a really nice day going through all the racks and looking for things. We had a nice lunch. Um, she got a really nice faux leather jacket and a couple of tops so she was super happy and I also got a few bits and bobs mainly from the two Red Cross shops. Um, that are in Nurebro and also one which was a new shop to me um, I can't remember what it's called but I'm going to be visiting it in the next video that I'm making about secondhand shops in Nurebro so you'll see it there and I got a few items from there so I'm just going to grab those and show you them Now I went, one of the tips I'll give you if you're going secondhand shopping is to have an idea in your head what it is that you're looking for. Now I'm looking for, I wanted some loose trousers if I could find them, which I didn't. Uh, oh yes I did, I got one pair. Um, and also um, some more t-shirts and summer tops. Now I got this, it's just a plain, um, I think it's black and white stripy t-shirt from H&M, just a very plain t-shirt, I think that was 25 crowns. I got this from Envy. You can tell that I like bright colours but I also like black and white. This is a black and white pattern and it's got a little poplin bit at the bottom. It was really flattering and I liked that and it fitted me fine so I got that one. Um, I also got this which is from um, Saint-Tropez, another Danish brand, um, quite kind of like Asian inspired, you know, Japanese inspired, just a plain vest top and I really like that and that was a good price. Again, sometimes I see things and I think, I really like this but do I really want it? And then I think, well if I don't, I'm only going to regret it. So I got this one um, and also in the Red Cross shop there I got this. Um, it's quite sheer so I would need to wear something underneath it but Again, I'm a sucker for patterns. That's such a gorgeous pattern and really flattering and I like that and that would be lovely in the summer over a loose pair of sort of linen trousers or with jeans. Now that, I've got a big pile on the floor now, that is all the secondhand clothes. Oh, no, I forgot the last item. This is the only item of all these clothes that I got which was over 100 crowns and it's these gingham Colot kind of situation. They're a bit strange, they're hard to describe. When you put it on and you're walking along, it looks like it's a wrap skirt, um, but it's actually collots. That was 200 crowns. Now that is normally a little bit more than I would pay, but I secondhand, but it's such nice condition. Um, again, I don't think it's been worn. Um, it doesn't have, doesn't actually have the brand in it, um, but I do think that that's quite nice and a very clean look I think gingham is there um, so that was the only real bottoms that I bought recently and then finally two pairs of shoes now the first pair I got in the second hand shop that I work in they are these they're Puma um, they're a size too big for me but I do have these um, like inserts that you can put inside shoes from when I had um, a problem with my foot and they actually make them fit me perfectly. Now the last item I'm going to show you, I actually bought this from a second hand shop and I think that if 
it's genuine um, it was very much underpriced in that shop so my plan is if these turn out to be genuine I'm going to sell them privately myself in Lidcoop, um, but the money that I make from them I'm going to donate to the charity but I'm going to show them to you and I'd love you to comment down below if you think this is a genuine pair of Balenciaga trainers so I'm just going to go and grab them here we go it says inside if I hold it up and it focuses come on focus there we go this is Balenciaga and it says that inside as well they're ugly enough to be <laughs> to be Balenciaga trainers um, I couldn't find any um, record of these I'll put them down because they're putting me out of focus I couldn't find any record of these online I couldn't see them um, so if anybody can tell me are these genuine are these genuine Balenciaga do you know please leave a comment down below I would love to know because if I do sell them and make a, a, a nice amount of profit that's going to be going to the Red Cross so you'll be helping out both me and a charity as well if you can let me know so there we go that is my spring summer thrifted wardrobe I hope that's giving you some inspiration for going out and looking in thrift shops yourself and until next time bye for now